All right, enough of that. I had my uh, speakers turned off, so there was why there was no sound at the very beginning. I apologize. Not sure how that happened. I don't remember clicking on that, but I may have done it accidentally. So anyway, welcome back. Here we are, September, three games out of the division. Number one in the wild card. We just swept the Yankees. Back here, right here, two to one, two to one, three to two. Then we won two out of three from the Astros, two out of three from the Padres, swept Colorado, kicked their butt royally. Milwaukee, two out of three. So we've had a really good end of the month. And uh, he said three games back in the division. And uh, statistically, Rooker's hitting 295 with 34 and 78. Not sure he's going to have a 100 RBI season. 22 is attainable, but. Probably not going to do it. Be lucky if he gets um, 95. Adamas could get to 30. So this right here is the big thing. Tyler Sostrom brought him up in 18 games. He has 27 hits, 7 home runs, 15 RBIs, hitting 397. OPS of 1299. 8 walks, 7 doubles, triple. So the dude has been on fire since we... Traded Ryan Noda to the Dodgers and brought Soderstrom up. So that's uh, that's where we stand with him. He's kicking butt, taking names. Um, what we do need to do is September call-ups. I didn't do that off camera. So let me go look and see who do we want to bring up. Um, <laughs> wouldn't be bad to have an extra infielder. Leave him down. Um, who should we bring up? Not Daz. Don't need another guy against lefties. Dalton rushing. Don't know how much time he will get. He's already used an option. Since he's already used an option. Now nah, we'll leave him down. Um, Yarborough, okay, all these guys are already up, so Harris, one of three, doesn't hit much. Wynn has done well, Clark Elliott. Let's bring up Tyler Ferguson, he's doing great down there. They'll give us another lefty. And we do need to bring up an infielder. So he's 55, 58. It only plays short. Play Shepard. Second, short, and third. Yeah, let's bring up Brett Harris. So. Harris, that means we'll move Cooper Bowman to AAA. Leave Fiori down. And relievers, we did bring up Ferguson, so let's move you to AAA and you to AA. There we go. All right, pitching rotation. Ferguson is in there. Okay. Lineups go to triple A. Cooper Bowman there. Good there. Good, good, good. All right, let's save. And then we'll get started. All right, so Major League side. Um, we are probably going to play a full game here against the Rangers and maybe even player lock in the other two. We'll see where we're at in the standings when we get to this last week. 
Um, we will probably play a game home against Seattle and at LA. And we'll sim all the rest, so we'll get division games in. And, yeah. Who do I want to face? We faced him before. Let's face Tyler Anderson. We'll pitch with Estes and go from there. All right. Quick sim. Here we go. And we pound them 11 to 1. Rooker, Langliers, and o Joe Adele with two homers and five ribs. If you missed the last episode, the very last game we simmed at Houston, <laughs> um, Pete Crow Armstrong hit three home runs and drove in nine runs. Nine of the 11 runs we scored in that game. So, yeah. <laughs> Another. Look at Luis Garcia. He's 14 and 5. Has he got a chance for a Cy Young? No. Surprisingly. Well, Lugo's going to run it again. 18 wins, but... Double A against Springfield. Let's let's uh, go do a player lock with uh, Fiore first, and then we'll play a full game. Let me get some uh, swings in because I literally have not played today. All I've been doing is uh, all I've. Why is Nick Young? Why did I call him up? Hold on a sec. Why is Brett Harris down at Triple? Oh, it's Nick Allen. No, never mind. Lose my mind. Getting confused. So we'll play a lock with Fiori. He's been uh, cold lately. He was up in the 295 range, so he's dropped some. Points off his average, so try and get him jump started before the uh, end of the season here. And uh, he was our first round pick last year. He's going to spend all year at Double A, spend all year or as much as we can at Triple A next year, and then he's up. All right, against my own Springfield Redbirds team. Chasing the change up. One and one. Yeah, tardy. Tardy. Keep me tardy on a 92. 102? Yeah. 92? No. Let's foul that off. Let's see, Fiori's contact and power are both in the 50s and his righties, so we, we gotta try and build this up for him. I think next year the miners want to push his work on pushing his contact rate up for training wise. Don't know how much training actually helps in this game, but just in case it does, painted the outside and didn't get the call. All right, Logan. Ah, that fucking change up sitting there forever. Could not wait. Well, we battled, made him throw a lot of pitches. All right, Davidson hit a homer, so it's 1 1. That missed, that's a ball. One ball, no strike. Right yeah, I don't want that. That's a pop up pitch. Now, what I need to do before next year is I need to go into the vault and see if they have the uh, Las Vegas Aviators ballpark in the uh, vault and download that. I need to see uh, if I can find that and let him play at their regular stadium. Too shitty at bats. He 
Dream Pitcher. All these soft tossing righties, man. Quick dip in the PCI. Fisted that one through. I'll take that hit. One for three. It's better than no for three. All right, Nick. Let me walk around the bases. This is the uh, A's real 2024 first round pick. All right, Clark. Do something, buddy. He's probably going to strike out since it's 0 2. No. We're going to go and we're probably going to get gunned down. Yep. He's out. Doesn't have the wheels. One deep enough. All right, eighth inning. Still tie ball game. And it's not anymore. <laughs> Adios, Get it over the fountains. <laughs> Number 20. What's up, Batten? How you doing? Perfect timing. We're doing player lock to start, and uh, look at that home run. Fiore hit it out of the stadium. <laughs> I want to see if it has this. I want to see if it has this celebration down first base. Oh, it doesn't do it. Replay, vault. Show him do it. No, it doesn't. All right, never mind. That was a cool celebration with the first base coach. Hey, Batten, I've spent most of the afternoon, not this morning, it's all been after lunch, working on a new stadium for uh, Tampa Bay. It's kind of inspired by the current one that they, I think they just lost funding for. Dark Specta, welcome in, my man. 40 months in a row. 40 months. Welcome, welcome. But I'm working on a, uh, I'm working on a new stadium. Hey, we just hit a home run out of the park with this guy, Specta. Completely out of the park. Nope. But I'm, uh, I'm making a new stadium for Tampa. Um, it's not going to be exactly what they. What they, uh, that's our third hit against righties. Um, what they're doing, because I can't put the, the type of roof on there like they're doing, so I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make a, a fake retractable. Um, but I can show you that. Um, maybe I'll show it to you now before, uh, when we're done with this game, before we get into our first full game of the stream. I've got to uh, finish working on the left field stands, the, the outfield stands and that part of the upper deck. Um, I don't know, maybe next year. It's just, I'm, I'm messing with ballparks right now. 
And if I find one I like, <clears throat> I can use it um, in here. We could replace the A's, uh, the A's, the Rays Stadium with the one that I made. <clears throat> You know, like I did in the Cardinals where I replaced the uh, Coliseum with I replaced the Coliseum with the uh, treehouse park that I made. Alright, we get the win. Logan Fiore, three for seven. Two hits, his 20th home run, 72nd RBI. So Maybe I'll, I'll save right here and we'll go look at that real quick and then come back in so we can show you. I got to get on the correct month here. All right. So while that's loading, I'm going to bring up um, a couple of pictures of the park that they're um, they were wanting to do, um, but now it's in jeopardy. So let me change this to this. All right. So that's what the inside of the uh, proposed Tampa Bay Stadium looks like. That's from behind home plate and that's from center field. All right. So pay attention to this right here and this part right here. All right. Not so much the roof and not so much the stuff on the sides. Although I'm, I'm working on this section of the stadium right here. Um, and I have to decide if I'm going to close this part in or leave it just wide open because I'm just going to have it be a retractable dome where it just has a cover that goes over the stadium, but it's open on the sides and have the stands come up and, and maybe not enclose it all the way. Um, so, but if I don't close it in here, then it's just going to be wide open straight on out to some water where there's a little pier and boats and stuff. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So they're wanting to build the stadium in the, gla the gas plant district in St. Petersburg. That's the actual name of the district. So I named it the park. So you can see we got water out here. We got a pier. We got boats and stuff. Got our palm trees and all that. I got some sand and grass out there. Current section in left field. Um, I might put something else up here. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I had some upper deck over here and I took it out. I ripped it out. I'm probably going to leave all of this in here though. Um, it's, it's still a work in progress. I would say it's 60% done. See, I have nothing over here. I just started doing this section there. And I ripped out some wood here. I was going to try to finagle the wood so I could put it in like a concession stand and have some people... Uh, have some people standing out behind the fence right let me show you what it looks like way up high so this is what it looks like and these towers these four corner towers all have lights built into them so the lights to light up the stadium are in these towers they're, they're below this concrete section here and this blue curved section here on both sides is is supposed to be the retractable roof and it will slide together and close over the middle of the field you know slide and, and close right about here so right now it's just all retracted so you can see the field during the day but i need to and i've got this all the way around so that's exactly how it's going to be i might put some decorations out here or whatever but I need to close in 
the sides of the stadium and decide if I'm going to close in the underneath. But so we got the pier here with a parking lot, a big old grass area to walk walk around, the little uh, garden out here in center field. This is sand. Can't see it because of the glare, but this is sand. I got palm trees out there. Um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. Um, so you can see I have this whole area to fill in this entire section, this side and all the way over here. And I have to decide if I'm going to run a section horizontally across the top with, with seating and stuff up there and uh, kind of close in the top part or not. So that's, that's what I'm working on doing. I had to re reef do this outfield wall and that's why the fans are standing behind a solid wall instead of a, a fenced wall like that because I had to redo the wall so I have to redo them too but but anyway this is this is what I have started so far yeah when are they leaving yeah I probably if they decide to sell to Nashville Nashville Stars instead of the Tampa Rays but anyway, that's that's what I have going so far with this stadium. So the biggest thing I've been working on was this whole roof section and the uh, supports that have the lights built in here. I turn the lights on and see what it looks like lit up. So you can see I still have a lot of a lot of uh, stuff to work on, but that's what it looks like at night. So if I don't close it in. Um, if I don't close it in, then uh, you'll get to see a, a shot of like downtown St. Pete and all of the palm trees and stuff, and it'll be a nice, cool view. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do something over here in this section. I just just started doing this version of it um, last night and today. So as far as this goes, it'll always be open like this. So if we go into a game and it says rain, we'll just make it overcast. We'll change it to overcast. So, but anyway, that's uh, what I've been doing. Um, I don't know if I'll put a big board. If I put um, a section across, a seating section, I, I like a really high seating section, I'll put the scoreboard um, in center field. If I don't, if I leave it wide open, I'll just leave it open. I'll put a big scoreboard on the left. There's already a big scoreboard on right. So, and I might put some ones in the corners. But anyway, that's what I've been working on today. Let's get back in here and get going. So, all right. We're going to play this game at the Angels, and I'm going to make sure it's not sunny <laughs> because I can't see shit at this stadium either whenever there's uh, sunshine. Let me see. I'm going to give them their old throwback uniforms, these. I like those much better. And it's partly cloudy. Let's go overcast. And then I don't have to worry about the sun. We'll be able to see the ball. Let's go. Let's go. I should have. Uh, this is against the lefty, though, right? So, throw some down there is fine. And it, look at that big old mustache. Looks like he's from the seventies. All right, it's nighttime anyway, so I should be able to. I would have been able to see the ball to begin with. So. But I kind of want to leave it open a little bit, like some of these are, so I'm, I'm not just staring into seats. I want to be able to see the city out there. I was going to put like a glass thing, but it eats up so much memory that I'm like, yeah, no. There's a thing called frosted glass that I could use to do some fake windows around the top. I haven't gotten to that yet. But, yeah, I was just grinding on that all day long. Yeah. Well, the problem is some of the assets are uh they eat up so much memory what i did find out though is if once you put like this big ass building in there you can duplicate it and it doesn't take up any more memory 
It's when you put in 15 different things that it eats all the memory up. So. If it's just repeating the same thing over and over again, then it, it doesn't eat up as much memory. Ah, was a late decision to swing. Alright, if I can't get him over or get him in, then we'll steal third. That'll get him to third base. Alright. Now ground ball to the right side or fly ball to the outfield to get us a run. All right, Rooker, we need to get you 22 RBIs to get you up to 100. Yeah, way out front. Nah, he's way behind. There's other guys that are kicking his butt on MVP. He doesn't have enough RBIs. He might be our team MVP. Freaking Dodgers open September with 92 wins. There we go. Thought that was going to sneak through, but I'll take the ground out with the RBI. All right, Sugar Shea. Wind is blowing out to center. Is that going to get by him? Oh, what a catch. Look at the CPU making the Superman catch. The CP, only CPU makes catches like this. Yeah, he's not going to sign with either one of those two teams. I think he's going to stay right in New York. Because you know Aaron Judge is like on that side of 30, right? He's not playing 10 more years. Or Soto could easily play 10 more years. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if he went to the Mets, but he's not going to the uh, Dodgers. Come on, Butler, get there. 660 million. These teams are fucking high. I remember when Nolan Ryan was the first one to get a million dollar contract. <laughs> I hate Boris. Damn, the foul balls in this game are maddening. I think Trout is hurt, so I don't think we're going to face him. He's not like long-term hurt. I think he's out a few days, so I don't think we're going to face him at all. Ooh. Yeah. Well, the Jets finally solved part of their problem by shit-canning their general manager, who's terrible. The only way the Cowboys get better is that they get rid of Jerry. It wasn't Jerry Jones who made that team a Super Bowl champion in the 90s. It was Jimmy Johnson. So when Jimmy left, all the magic left. Gary doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He knows how to make money. He doesn't know how to run a team. 
Yeah, Rogers should have retired last year. Rogers is one of those, those uh, athletes that is going to stick around too long and lightly tarnish his reputation because he couldn't uh, hang it up. I know he lost like what three full seasons behind Favre in his twenties, but you don't make up for it by playing like shit in your forties. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Here we go. That's going to be down into the gap all the way for a double. Thank you. Oh, I was so pissed off last night when Nico Collins went 77 yards in the first play of the game. That was 15 points right there on my fantasy team. Luckily, I didn't need him. I already had the game won, but then he only put up like nine. I know it got called back on a ticky-tack penalty, but... Had I needed that touchdown to win, I would be livid today. Yeah. All right, Tyler. You're only on this team to provide depth and hit lefties. You and Senzel have one job, and that's to crush lefties and give us flexibility. And Senzel started the inning with a double, so now it's your turn to bring him in. Ooh, just missed. Damn it. Yeah, this week I have a matchup with the guy I played in week one, and he beat me specifically because he had the Bears defense and they had two defensive scores in that first week. He only beat me by eight, and he got 12 from those two scores, so that's why I lost. And uh, the funny thing is, the Bears defense that he used is uh, sitting out there as a free agent. I might pick him up <laughs> just to try and use against him and beat him with his own team. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry is the problem for Dallas. No. Nope. And they do that every year in the draft. They, they'll find some good players like Micah Parsons and CD and all that stuff, but then they, they will trade down at the wrong time. And but Part of it is their roster construction. I mean, how could you not bring in Derrick Henry to play a running back this year? I just don't get that. Double header or DH? Oh, oh, Derrick Henry. Yeah, yeah. Well, we knew he would because they know how to run the ball. Damn it. Just reach out and flip that into right. There goes a no hitter. Once I get through the first inning with no hits allowed, I'm on no hitter alert all the time. Two innings down, one nothing lead. So, Batten, here's what the, the, the plan is. We're going to play September today. And 
unless we win the division, because we're three and a half games back starting the stream, if we somehow catch the Rangers and win the division, then we will play the ALDS tomorrow. <clears throat> That's all we'll do. But if we get to the wild card rounds, where it's two out of three, um, then I will I will play that tomorrow, like at noon Central Time. And if we win that in two games, then I will throw up thanks for watching, and then I'll throw up stream starting soon, so I have a hard cut point in my VOD. And then we'll start the ALDS immediately after. We'll play two rounds tomorrow. Um, because the worst we could play is eight games, but it's probably going to be fewer than that. But if we win the division today, then we'll just do the ALDS tomorrow. But if we do the wild card and we can win it in two, then we'll do the uh, the ALDS as well. If it goes three, we'll see how I'm feeling. If I'm struggling or if I'm crabby at the game, then we'll just call it a day and we'll come back Friday. But... If we uh, can, if we win that wild card in two, I'd be inclined to uh, I'd be inclined to go ahead and play both rounds in one day. It's not like I'm trying to rush through the season really fast, but when I'm in the mood and I got the time, it makes up for it. When like over the weekend where I couldn't because I was refing and I ended up not doing anything for like five days, so. I do not expect us to uh, catch the Rangers, and I do not expect us to uh, even go to the ALCS. I think it'll be all we can do to get through the wild card round. Um, and I would be less disappointed in getting knocked out early because it, it gives us something to build for next year. Ah. Then shooting our wad and all of a sudden we we're playing in a World Series in year one. I would kind of not like that to be honest with you. Either way, we're probably going to play you know, four or five seasons with this team. Maybe we can just play this straight on up to uh, when the new game launches. Because even when the, the new game launches, I'm not going to play franchise right away. So we could still be finishing up the very last season or whatever in 24. While I'm waiting for the first live, real live roster in 25. Let's get that out of here. <sighs> Damn. Get that shit off the inside part of the plate. I'm just fouling it off to get rid of it. It was a terrible location. Luckily, he didn't hit it all the way to Santa Barbara. Yeah, there's definitely no trout in the lineup today, so that's good. Joey is um, pretty easy to pitch with. It's a nice, compact, quick motion. 
I don't have to wait forever for him to uh, throw the ball. Come on, Butler. Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there. There we go. There we go. That was quick. We're wearing out that third base coach's box, man. He's, he's over there dodging bullets. That was his 80th RBI, so he needs 20 more. Oh, swung over the top of it. God damn it. Damn it. Come on, Shea. I just missed that. Who's the pitch wise? 50. Good, good. You're making them work. Just got a piece of that. I was up till 2 o'clock last night. Fucking dog. My uh, older dog, the 10-year-old dog. She's she's bigger than the other one by a little bit. And she was sleeping in our bed last night instead of on the floor in her bed. And she's like a fucking rock. Can't get her to move for anything. So I slept all twisted up and kept waking up all night long. I woke up at 6.45 and I'm like, I am not getting up. It's just not even five hours of sleep. So she finally moved, and I was able to roll to a position I was comfortable in. And I slept till almost 10 o'clock. Then I get up, have coffee, start waking up, reading Twitter. And uh, well, I was like, oh, I want to put the Christmas lights up. Okay. Three and two. He's nibbling. There we go. Draw that walk. Come on, Butler. You can hit lefties. You can do this. <laughs> Speak it into existence. Still haven't fixed Rooker's shoes. That was just a monster shot. Looked like a tee shot. All right, Tyler. Their base coach is going to wear armor next time. Oh, that one might be out of here, too. Deep to the track, to the wall. It is gone. Way out of here. Up near the grass. There we go, Tyler. All right. Here's the other Tyler. One that's been on fire just ridiculous lately. Ooh, swung off that pitch.
There we go. Should almost pitch almost hit him. And he somehow shoots it up the middle, avoids the pitcher, and reaches. All right, Joe, playing your old team. It was late. I was trying to make sure I wasn't early in popping it up. Come on, Alexander. Just like that. He tops out at 92 with his two-seamer and his four-seamer. He does not throw hard at all. All right, we got him up to 73. He's going to be out of the game after this inning. 74 pitches in the fourth inning. It's going to be 75. This should be his last batter. Yeah, he's out of gas completely. He might even walk me. Another foul ball. Come on. Swung at ball four, and it might have hit me if I hadn't swung. Well, that's okay. We got three runs, two tank jobs. Added hence, they add to go a Roby too. Roby's a, a, a pitcher we got from the Rangers. Um, I think it was in the Jordan Montgomery trade. Tink will be up. Tink will be up sometime next year. His problem is his arm gave him trouble a couple of times this last season. He's not the biggest dude. He's kind of skinny. I mean, he's not a man like fucking Jordan Walker. 6'4", 250. Um, he's built more like Pedro Martinez. And here's where the CPU runs up my pitch count. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Ball one. Ball one, no strikes. And Nevin stands there like a fucking statue. Doesn't even move unless the ball land hate that feature of this game the reaction they just stand there like a statue where the cpu will go flying 50 yards and superman dive and catch the ball nevin's going to stand there like he doesn't know what he's doing Terrible contact. Just oh. terrible. There we go. That'll drop. It's 
292? It must be Rooker. There we go. Golf that shit into the gap. Hustle double. There we go. There we go. Didn't get the RBI, but... Get him in scoring position for Langleyers. Oh, almost got that inside the bag. Just look a little bit lower. Oh, did you see the uh, Reds and the Royals are talking trade? And it was like the two names that I saw the rumor was Jonathan India and Brady Singer. Why the Royals would want to trade Singer? I don't know. Actually looked at trying to get India to play second base for us here in this Utah one, but I couldn't work out a trade the first year. Yeah, just trying to foul it off. All right. And Zell does not like right-hand pitchers. So we'll just bring in Kobe Mayo, who does like right-hand pitchers. Is that going to get through? Probably not. Wasn't patient. Damn, Matt Swanson. Oh, Heim Bloom is in charge of all that shit now, so it's not uh, Mr. Bowtie, that stupid motherfucker. He should have been fired last year. Charles LeBlanc. It's got to be a CPU guy. Let's see if we can get him on this changeup. There we go. Nice pitch. He left that right over the middle of the plate. Here we go, through five. No runs allowed. Nevin's on deck. We'll pinch it with Kelnick. And yeah, it's a lazy fly ball to center field. Drive that ball to the left. Swung 
and over the top. Nice pitch. One ball, two strikes. Looked like a fastball. Late break on the cutter. Didn't have the miles per hour. That was that high splitter should have been hit out of the park. All right, Tyler. Just did one up the middle for an infield hit. Let's see if we can drive one this time. There we go. He's going to catch it. Nope. Two hits. Take that. Thank you. Thank you. We need Joe in here. Joe's got some pop against both sides. That's what we need right now. And I got under it. All right. Bottom of six. Still four nothing. Oh, hey, Batten, check this out. I wish they would give us. Look right here. See those numbers up there on the wall and the baseball? I wish they would give us something like that. And it can just be black and white. It doesn't have to have a team color. But give us something like that to put retired numbers on the wall in the stadiums instead of that stupid wood thing that's got a piece that extends down. Give us something like that that's actually useful. Give us team flags. State flags. It's just the uh, U.S. flag and the pride flag. I mean, give us something we can actually use. I like using the flag because it shows me the wind. I can see where, what direction and how hard, how hard it's blowing. God damn these foul balls. Make the roster? No, none of them will start the season in the majors. <clears throat> because we gotta squeeze every last penny out of Steve Matz and Miles Michaelis. And I don't think Tim Kentz is ready for the majors just yet. He needs to be able to pitch a full season at AAA. Roby needs to stay healthy. Swanson I don't know much about. <clears throat> Eventually, yes. Maybe second half of the year for Tink. through six. There we go. We get SD on, steal around, and then in the bottom half of the inning, we'll bring in Adamas to play short. Yeah, well, that was our problem. We had to go sign a bunch of old guys because we didn't have young guys ready to step up. Doesn't help when we traded away Zach Allen and Sandy Alcantara to get two years of Marcelo Zuna. <laughs> um, but we have not, we've, we've drafted and developed a lot of hitters, but not as many starting pitchers. We do have Quinn Matthews who might, um, I don't know if he'll make the team out of spring training. If not, he'll, he'll be up sometime in May, I'm sure. you see the uh, both the Pirates and Padres missed out on an extra PPI draft pick? Jackson Merrill was up all year, but since he didn't win Rookie of the Year, they don't get that extra pick. And the Pirates kept Skeens down too long, so he wasn't up and have enough days on the roster to get them that PPI pick, even though he did win. Uh, but since he did win, he's now going to be one year sooner to free agency. Because they're going to classify it as a full season. 
<laughs> so both teams got fucked. <laughs> The whole point of the PPI is not to give them an extra draft pick for winning Rookie of the Year. It's to give them an extra draft pick for having those guys on the uh, roster on opening day. Yeah, Gray is still on team. He says he wants to stay. He and Contreras both want to stay. They don't want to leave. Arnado, I expect to be traded. I expect Arnado to go somewhere, and then we'll... Uh, Either put Sejaci at third or move Gorman to third. Play Sejaci at second. JJ Weatherholt's going to be up sometime in the next... Probably not next year. He'd have to really tear up next year. Maybe in 26. I'm going to be surprised at some point if we trade Nolan Gorman. He's got such great power. He just got, he has to make contact. they got to fix his, his pitch selection and contact rate. Yeah, we got rid of Carlson. We should have traded his ass. We had a chance to send his ass to Washington for Soto two years ago. It's fucking terrible. He absolutely crushes the ball from the right-hand side of the plate. But we don't face enough lefties, and he didn't wise up enough to uh, to uh, just switch stop switch hitting and, and switch over to the right hand full time I don't think he wanted to be here alright 88 pitches he's getting tired what do we got switch hitter righty lefty this is a close enough game that we're going to bring in uh Let's see seventh, eighth, ninth. We have another lefty here. Let me see something. Seven, eight, nine, twelve. Yeah, we don't we don't have to worry about trout, so let's let's go ahead and bring in Alvarado right now. my spot not catching that Got the ground ball I wanted, just not at anybody. Boy, he was way out in front of that. Six, three, thank you very much. That's why you need a strong bullpen.
Belnick does not like lefties. I knew there was a chance they'd bring a lefty in once I pinch hit for him earlier in the game. It's okay. One ball, two strikes. Spoiling pitches right and left. All right, Tyler. He's over 400 now. <clears throat> nah, golf that shit. He was hitting 405 before that pitch. All right, off the bottom of the eighth. Mustn's tired. It's Brendan Sandlin. Remember him from the Cardinals franchise. Whoa. Dude. All right, how about a splitter? There we go. There we go. Refresh. I think I'm just a little bit behind. What's up, Ty Spot? How you doing, man? We're doing good. We're doing good. We're only three games behind the Rangers for first place, and we played them three games the last week of the season. So here we go. This is our first full game of the stream. So we're going to play these guys. We're going to play Seattle, and then we're going to play Texas. And depending on how long the games take, we'll determine how many player locks we throw in in between we did a player lock to start the stream with our our rookie second baseman down at double a and he hit his 20th home run completely out of the ballpark get there joe you get better wheels Swinging at the motion. Oh, hey, Batten, um, Tampa Bay, I make that stadium for Tampa, then we can use that next year, whether we play with Tampa or not, because if they don't have them playing in Tropicana in the game, then we can put them in whatever park we want. There we go. There's a chance to get on and steal.
Let's see, give him 30 what? Doesn't say. Son of a bitch. Of course it won't go out of play. All right, Rooker, there's an RBI chance. Mm. All right, down the pipe. The Angels need to go back to these uniforms full time, get rid of that all red look. Oh, he made it through. Wow. That was a serious Olay at third base. All right, it gets him up to 81 ribs. On Shea. Stephen King has a book called The Langoliers. It's an alien UFO um, book, if I'm not mistaken. Hold him up. He does not have wheels either. Keep the pressure on him. All right, Kobe. Find a gap somewhere. He draws a walk or something, then we got Butler after him. Got three straight lefties after this guy. Jammed. God damn it. Right down the middle and I jammed myself by swinging late. All right. Rooker gets another rib. That's what we're trying to get him to 100. And uh, we'll go to the bullpen here. Let's go with Alexis. I traded for him. Let's use him. Wow, shit was over his head. One ball, two Three. Diced him up, man. Now you might want to go back and rethink that whole AB. That was terrible. High slider for the strike. Day late on that one.
All right, there we go. Complete game shutout. Let me go to get a uh, picture of Ripper. Ruiz three hits, Rooker had two hits, Butler with a homer, Nevin with a homer. Joey asked this pitch really well. All right, 81 and 58, so we're guaranteed to, be, guaranteed to be no worse than 500. And now we're only two and a half games back behind the Rangers. Wow. This is not what I expected. All right, sim this game, and we win six to three. Adamas, Butler, and Kelnick with home runs. Spence is 10 and 10. That's four, five wins in a row, eight of nine, 13 of 15, 16 of 19. We've won 16 of their last 19 games. Wow. 16 and three run. All right. Can we sweep LA at LA? Yes. Yes, we can. 17 of our last 20. Wow, wow, wow. Rooker, three more ribs. There we go. He might do it. Max, struggling lately. Bullpen bailed him out, though. All right, let's, let's save. 17 out of 20. Game and a half back. All right, Rooker needs 16 RBI. Adamas needs two home runs for 30. Look at all those guys in double digits. 35 steals for Asti. Tyler's hitting 385. Sinzel, 320. He's a platoon. Nevin's a platoon. They're doing their jobs. Pitching. If 14 and 5 for Garcia, everybody else is right around 500. Matt Rasmussen had 31 saves with Tampa before we traded for him. Miller's got 33 with us. So here we go. We got 16 and 64 for these two. We got 16 and um, 47, but that doesn't count Noda, so it's more than that. 11 and 65, 23 and 66, 28 and 73. He's the DH. So left field, we got 19 and 82. He's 11 and 53. Adele is playing mostly center. So that's 22 and 81. So about the same as Butler. And double A. Fiori hitting 267, 20 home runs. Kurtz is doing well. His power's not there yet, but pitching wise, Brecht, more strikeouts than he's pitched. Salinas, more strikeouts than he's pitched. Triple A. Finch was a guy we just snagged off waivers. He's playing and pitching way better than his ratings because his hits per nine and his pitching clutch are terrible. But he's only given up 84 hits in 106 innings. So he's one of those guys that sims better than he really is. All right, at the Pirates against Paul Skeens. We'll just sim it. And we win. We're 20. We've got 18 of 21 games. 
We've won 18 of 21. Rooker and two more RBI. Burns is 12 and 10. Goodness. All right, let's player lock in this game. Jared Jones is going to be tough. So let's go with... Let's go with Pete Crow. Let's see if we can get him going. 84 and 58. Look at that guy. Wind is blowing in strongly. That's good. All right, Soderstrom with an RBI. Keeping up his hot ways, man. Dude is sparking us down the stretch. Uh, off the end of the bat. Three to two, Butler hit a home run. Gotta drive this run home. They're gonna score a bunch more runs before the ninth. Nope, not getting it done. And we lose. Four to three. Rooker tied it. Hayes hit a solo homer. 39 doubles and 37 home runs for Rooker with 87 ribs. Garcia left early for some reason. Hopefully he's not hurt. That would suck if he's hurt. Cross your fingers. We don't get an injury notification. Oh, fuck. Our best pitcher is out one to two weeks with a pulled hammy. One to two weeks. Means he would be back for the Texas series for sure. Do I put him on the DL? One to two weeks. If I put him on the DL, we can't bring him back for two weeks. Otherwise, we're going to be a pitcher short. Which I could always send Ferguson back down and bring up a starting pitcher. Let's keep him on the active roster since we have expanded rosters. They're going down to triple A. And Vote cap manager of the year, nice. Let's um, let's bring up JT again.
All right. And we get a win. Look at all those W's. My goodness. Tyler Nevin with a home run. Estes pitches another good game. Miller gets a save. We are a game and a half back. All right. All right, this is going to be the last week for double A, I believe. Let's see what their standings are. No, looks like they're going to make the playoffs. Triple A is going to make the playoffs, and we're going to make the playoffs. So, Shohei, huh? Home game against Shohei. Simit. Oh my God, we win again. That's. Four to two, beat Shohei. Butler, Adamas, and Mayo with home runs. Mitch Benz is 11 and 10 now. We've won nine of 10. Let's look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Nine and two, 10, 11, 12, and three. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and four. 20 and four. We've won 20 of our last 24 games. <laughs> 20 of 24. All right, I'll play like with Willie Adamas. 20. And this team is not loaded with superstars. All right, Mookie gets him on the board first. One on, two out. Oh, don't swing at that garbage. Still one nothing. Yeah, it's a line drive. Oh, it's gonna drop. There we go. Get into third. Rooker dive. There we go. Guys, damn it! I gotta still fix his shoes. Gotta fix his shoes. All right, come on, Tyler. Come on, Tyler. You've been hot lately. That's a double play. Oh, he threw it away, and it's going to be a run. There we go. CPU actually makes an error. Wow. Wow. Miracles do happen. Wind is blowing in, directly in. Very strong. Get over him. Get through. Yes. Two hits for Willie. Chopped that high enough, it went right over the pitcher's head. All right, Tyler, let's see if we can actually get a hit this time. Kind of like those gold shoes. I wonder what this team would look like if I put them all in. Yeah, but the gold with the powder blue may not look great. All right, drew a walk. Two on, one out. Come on, Kobe. <clears throat> Man, why would you bunt with a guy that has power with one out? Now a sack fly, you can't even get him home with a sack fly. You got to get a base hit to get him home. There it is. There's one run. Up two to one. All right. My bitch and moan and it worked out. 
All right, still two to one, bottom of eight. One on, nobody out. Ah. So I didn't swing at that. No, no, thank you. Full count. Let's go. I'll take a walk. Get Soderstrom up with nobody out. Swung a ball four, but the pistol guy was going to hit the bottom corner. He's trying to get double play badly. Ball four, there we go. Two singles and a walk. Come on, Tyler. Beats it out, and then at the corners with one out. And we get the dub. Another win, guys. Max Freed pitched much better. Wow. They are on a bender. Holy shit. 21 of their last 25. Swept the Dodgers. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to do a, another home game here against Seattle, or go on the road against Seattle? Because we're gonna we're gonna play one of these games at Texas. We have four against the Mariners. Let's look at the standings. Mariners are 16 and a half out, so they're toast. We're only a game and a half behind the Rangers. Who are the Rangers playing? They're finishing up with LA, and then they have Houston, and then the Dodgers, and then Houston, and then us. They finish against the White Sox. So yeah, we gotta do we gotta do some work. They got a tough schedule. We have Seattle that's under 500, Boston under 500. We have an easy schedule. So we just do what we should do. We're going to win the division. Can you believe that? Wow. All right. Um, so should we do a full game here or a full game here? Because we're doing a full game in here. So do we want two road games or do we want a home game against Seattle? Or we could do Boston, but Seattle's better. Yeah, and I want to get Brian Wu on one of my teams so that I can use this every time he gets a strikeout. What do we do? What do we do? We already pitched with Estes. Let's pitch this game with Mitch Spence. All right. Send that. And we lose three to two. Okay. Kirby does well. Burns didn't pitch bad. And then we lose six to two. All right. So now JT again didn't grow great. Rasmussen did worse. And we lose three in a row to the Mariners. Lose one nothing. Bryce Miller. Unearned run. All right. Now we're three and a half games back. Wow. So we lost two games in the standings. So we went from having a chance to just jump right in to uh, 
Now we're three and a half back. All right, well, we're going to play this game. Again, why couldn't we just sneak one one of those games, get one win out of those three instead of losing all three? It's... Oh, hey guys, look, I'm working on a uh, retractable dome stadium for Tampa Bay right here. <laughs> Clear skies, Mitch Spence. Soderstrom's tired. He's a right-handed pitcher. Yeah, I'm just going to let him play. Let's go, let's go. Trying for his twelfth. Get a nice, smooth, slow motion. Pete, can I get there? Yes, he is. Wow, that's what you got that 99 speed in center field, man. One, two, three, let's go. <clears throat> Pound him inside. Look at that. Talk about being carved up. <laughs> Warning track shot. <laughs> Soderstrom's down to 333, so he's cooled off. like the Rangers won so they're up four games now depending on what we do here it's either gonna be three and a half or four and a half Right on by. Blew me away. All right.
Get there, get there, get there, get there. Thank you very much. That's two balls. He is really tracked down in the gap. It's two extra base hits he's taken away. This guy, all he wants to do is throw it inside. Fuck. What was that? Mm, and then I missed that. There we go, that's a double. If he had wheels, it'd be a triple. Our new everyday first baseman. There we go. Beat it. Come on, beat it. Beat it. Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's a... St <laughs> Uh-oh, that's going to be gone. That's out of here, folks. That's out of here. <laughs> Fuck you. Hammer shot, 425. <laughs> Pitch. Uh oh. That one might be off the wall. It's gone too. <laughs> Adios, back to back Apo Tacos. All right, Petey. The last game we simmed of last stream. He hit three home runs and drove in nine of our 11 runs. Just, it's one of the wildest box scores I've ever seen for a simmed game. And it was not a home game. It was at Houston. <laughs> Is that going to get down? Nope. All right. Back-to-back -back jacks. We're up 3-0. 
take that to pitch AB. Thank you very much. See if we can get him chase. Here we go, nine up, nine down. Keep those sticks going. And he's gonna catch that? Nope, that's double. I'm get the shit out of that one. All right, Butlers, let's go, buddy. We know you have the power. Ah, chasing. Don't do that. At least a productive out here. Move him up. And look down in the zone. There we go. Productive out. Put him on third. Less than two outs. And this is the guy that needs the RBI, right? Come on, Rooker. Trying to go up and attack that and hit it to right. Come on. See the pitch. Clutch of 98. Just needs three more home runs for 40. Oh. And I think the first year... In the uh, spring training of the first year, I extended him on a three-year deal, so. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Um, we, uh, we don't have to pay him big bucks for a few more years, which is good. All right, give me a pitch right down the pipe. There we go. There's a ribby. Don't care if it's an out. I want the RBI. Bad AB, but that's okay. We got to run.
Well, there goes the perfect game. One out. And there goes the shutout. Still have a no-hitter. Come on, Tyler. Let's make that run up. Oh. A little worm burner there. 900 bounce ground ball up the middle. Alright, Kobe, let's make up for the throwing error. That was a terrible throw. Actually, it wasn't even you, was it? It was Rosario. And they didn't even they didn't even credit him with an error? Why was that not an error? They moved up a base because of the throw. There's no way they're gonna catch this ball. How long was that ball in the air? Hit it too high. Hmm. Swung over. Come on. See the pitch. Under it. Uh oh, he might go up Otako again. 
Oh, he missed it. It's going to be at least a double. We're going to send him. And we're going to send Langleyers to third and get the run home because he threw it home. We forced him to throw to third instead of home to get that run. That goes a no hitter. Fuck was that? Throw the ball. Well, that sucked. Just a little bit further out, and that's a base hit. Yeah, that's one. Tried to hold up. Tried to hold up. Come on, Larry.
That's a fucker. That was a sinker down and in, and he fucking hit it out. He pulled it and hit it out. How does he hit that pitch? No, bad, and we're not spending any money. They're cutting salary. <clears throat> They're not going to sign anybody big name at all. Field hit, thank you. Guess we're gonna call it air. E5, take a hit away. No, no, fuck you.
One bad inning. There we go. Now we're gonna pinch hit or pinch run with Esty Ruiz. All right, Che has a homer and a double. Don't chase. All right, Mr. Rooker, let's go. Go for three. We get an RBI and a ground out earlier. Can't fucking wait for a strike. We gotta swing.
Oh. All right, three outs to go. Two. Swung at the arm and not the ball. Uh oh, is that going to be over his head? It's going to be over the wall. There we go. It's a line drive, barely made it over. And I put those walls high so that there's a better chance of him hitting the wall than going over the wall. Why is this crowd so quiet? We just went up by three and it's the bottom of the eighth. The crowd should be rocking this place. Deep, towering shot. Does that have enough? Yes, it does. Off the facing. That lighter tan color facing below the railing. What a shot. How far was that one? 454, dead center field. Nasty pitch. Let's go.
Outside of the first inning, there's been a run scored in either or both halves of every single inning. Nobody scored in the first, and since then, at least one team has scored in every half inning. Every inning, either bottom half or top half or both. Diaz in there and try and get a uh, two inning save. We'll see how it goes. No point in bringing in Miller. It's a non save situation. Ooh, almost got that by me. All right. This will get us back to three and a half back. Damn. May have hit that right there. Jesus, this is boring. Tired of foul balls, both pitching and hitting. How many pitches is that? 14 pitch at bat. 15 pitch at bat. Strike. All right, it's time to bring in Mr. Mason Miller. Got him. And that's a winner! That's a winner! They only had six hits. Rooker needs 12 RBI. Last regular season game for these guys.
Mr. Logan Fiore one more time. Probably the last time we play with him because I'm not going to do their playoffs. And it's raining. All right, good. And we're losing one nothing. Way out in front. Going from 95 miles an hour to these guys in the minors hitting 83. All right, we're up 6-1 now. A couple of home runs. He does not steal bases. I, if I just stand there, the pit, the batter's going to take every pitch. He's not going to swing. It's not a steal situation with guys that can't steal. It's fucking ridiculous. There we go. That should be out of here. Boom. Off the scoreboard. 24th home run. In double A. We set the start of the year. He's going to play the entire year at double A. He's going to play the, as much of the year next year in triple A as possible. Unless we get an injury, then I'll call him up. I was a first baseman. He's got better arm than most first basemen, so just slide him over to second base. That's gonna be a double. It's not gonna have great wheels, but that's okay. Should get one more at bat. in here Specta, revamp fg jimmy tight spot batten reyes welcome guys no don't swing at that Laundry is a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. And mine's gotten significantly better since our kids moved out. <laughs> we get done in two or three loads with just me and the wife, man. Usually more in the in the winter because jeans are its own load by itself, and then you get hoodies and stuff. So, but but uh, yeah, it's it's much nicer, and that's my job. I do that either Thursday or Friday, as long as I get it done so she can fold it on Saturday morning. 
Hey, Ali Bush right there, that center fielder that went three for three for the other team. That was a first round pick in the last draft that they had. He's got 24 home runs himself. No, I'm sorry, 24 doubles. And Fiore, three for five. Single double and a home run. 84 ribs. Hey, you know what, Specta? My hoodies live in the back room by the washing machine and dryer. We got this big, thick um, gas pipe for you know the stove upstairs and stuff. And I just hang them on that. And uh, I don't even put them away. They just stay there year-round. If I want a hoodie, I just go back there and get them. All right. We are 88 and 62, four games back. They are playing, they already beat the Dodgers. The Dodgers are 151. They have the Dodgers, the Astros, and then us. So they've got four against the Astros, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the next nine games are going to decide whether we're playing for first place or not because they got the White Sox to end the year. We've got the Angels. So, all right, here we go. We lose 13 to 4. Damn. Devers with two home runs. Max got lit up. And they lost, so we stayed the same. Corbin gets the win. Langoliers with another home run. Um, let's see. Pitching rotation it is, yeah, Garcia's back in. Good. Gin's over there. All right. All right, all right, all right. Aaron, <laughs> we won, they won. So we can't gain any ground. All right. Sim. And we win. We beat the guy that we almost took instead of Fiore. Look at that at the top. He's 5-5 five and five with a 4-4 ADRA. This guy, Liam Gunn, he's got terrible hits per nine. Everything else is pretty good, though. Rooker, two more RBIs. Garcia bounces back from his injury, gets his 15th win. All right. And we are still three games back. Let me save this. All right, Rooker needs seven RBIs for 100. I thought it was going to be a lock for 40 home runs, but it's not guaranteed. Tyler's hitting 354. He's going up plus seven contact against righties, plus five power against righties, plus six contact lefties. My God. Kurtz has gone up. And Fiori, plus eight power against lefties, like he needed it. All right, three against Seattle. 233. We're going to play a full game. That's going to be 333. So let's just sim. I'm getting tired. We win 10 to 9. Butler, Soderstrom, and Mayo. Mayo had five RBI. Rasmussen shit the bed. JT Ginn didn't do much better, but the rest of the bullpen held on. Uh, we got to their bullpen. And, of course, they win. So we're still stuck at three games back. We're going to be three games back and have those three games to play at Texas. You watch. We lost and they won, so now we're four back. All right. I didn't really think we were going to win the division, but when you get to a game and a half back, bullpen is killing me right now. All right. Aviators won. Rockhounds won. And we lost eight to seven. We lost two out of three. Butler, Rooker, Kelnick, Pete Crow with home runs. Freed is... Who has the 11 ERA? JT again. All right, you're out of here, dude.
bring up a left-handed reliever. Um, All right, five games back with six to play. So it's not going to happen. All right, let's pitch with Corbin Burns against Jake DeGrom and see if we can uh, shave one off. This will be the last game that we play, full game in the stream and in the regular season, and we'll just sim through, maybe throw in a, a player lock or something, but let's see what we can do here. Yeah, we're going to have him wear these. Fuck Brad Harris. He's just up to be insurance. Lankford. Dolus is batting ninth. <laughs> Must be regressing pretty hard. I hate this ballpark. If I ever play with the Rangers, we're going back to ballpark at Arlington. That's the ball. One and oh. yeah. I still have PTSD from this stadium for the World Series at Cardinals. The first time we made the World Series. Oh, that might be out of here. That might go. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Damn it. I hate when it's not in the chat. I go to type a sound command and it mutes the stream in my ear. He just had to wait on that pitch and turn, and bam, dead center field. All right, Rooker, hey, you're up over 300. Yeah, that was late swing. 99 at the shins is not a good idea. Yeah. Willie's down to 233. Ball, we need to find good. another shortstop. We got him for two more years, so we got time. Wait, ah, 
dipped PCI. Man, just stay there. Seed ball. Long way to run. Wow. Carved him up. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? How is that a single and an error? He wasn't even close to being... How, did, how is that a hit and an error? It's a routine ground ball. He throws it into the stands, and that's a hit and an error. Wow. What the fuck? Ball outside. Ball. Two and two. I should still have a no-hitter going. That's just a bad scoring. That's There's no way that's a hit. He was out by 20 feet. And I just have it on regular. All I do is hit the button. I don't have to hold it down to throw it harder or any of that stuff. My brain is not focused on batting right now. What bullshit was that? Thank 
One more. God damn it. One ball, two strikes. Two, two. You think Langford's fast? Holy shit. At least we're making him throw a lot of pitches. Oh, get under it. Why couldn't he make that throw in the first inning?
Should be nine up, nine down. Well, at least no hits. I don't care where this pitch is, I'm not swinging. Wow. Taking a strike. No, that's down. Ball. I gotta be careful. Chewing those mixed nut because I uh, have a temporary crown on the back nope. left molar. I gotta wait until the day before Thanksgiving to get the permanent one put in. So I gotta make sure I don't actually pop that one off. Doesn't look like he's regressing. That was not where that was supposed to be. There goes a the no-hitter. The real no-hitter. Of course, it's Seeger. There we go, Tyler. Keep that out of the corner. That game. Damn.
Right on the line. Just gonna catch that. What a play. Nice stretch at first. There we go. Luckily, it was a catcher. The fuck out of the way, dude. Get under him. All right. Look at this stretch over here. All right, we got the Grom out of the game. Thank God. Get out of fucking play. Nope, he's gonna catch it. Because the CPU catches everything because the ball stays in the air too fucking long. See how theirs conveniently go out of play. <laughs> ours, ours conveniently go in their glove. That's 
Third hit of the game at the end. Really only a second. There you go, Corbin. Cover the bag, unlike Garrett Cole. <laughs> Hung that shit, didn't you? Adios, pelota. <laughs> Woo! 444, his 30th dong of the year. That was a missile. Get out of here fast. Ball. One ball, no strike. Yeah, it's going to get down. That's a double. Come on, Jared. Oh, man. Just a little bit higher. No, it tried to hold up. Is that fair? Stay fair. Stay fair. Yes! Off the foul pole. Nice little slice. There you go. That's right, Jimmy. Slice around the dog leg right on the fairway. Well, is that going to get down? I think it is. Wow! It went over. It didn't get down. It got down in the bullpen. Holy shit! Jerry, I'm telling you, I have this power. And I have no control over it. 
Holy shit. I thought that was a laced into the gap. He's going to get two. Try maybe for three. And it just kept carrying. I mean, this game took a turn, didn't it? I don't know if you guys don't watch Mr. Hurricane. He actually won a World Series with the Cardinals. They beat the uh, Rangers. Six, I think. Five, six. He didn't have 300 win seasons in a row, though. That's for damn sure. That was a big seventh inning. Wow. One, two, three home runs. We can save this bullpen. That would be awesome. All right, six outs to go. Hammered foul. No, that missed. That's a ball. He's in. Is that 40 doubles now? 46 doubles. Shit, he's almost going to get 50. All right, Willie. That was an absolute laser shot last time. All right, move the guy up. Tack on runs, right? <clears throat> Make a, a grand slam, not tie the game. Come on, Tyler. We need to focus here. No strikeouts and pop-ups. This will help your clutch rating go up. Ooh, swung over it. One and one. There we go. Jumped at that pitch. Two 
One ball, one strike. No, that's outside. Ball. Two. All right, four outs. Make it three. All right, he's done. He did his job. All right. Jesus Christ, quit fouling the fucking ball off. All right, boys, there it is. Six to one win. Gets us back to within three games. Or is it back to four games? We got a sweep to get it back to a one game lead. All right. 
right. Let's see what the standings looks like again. Four game lead with five games to go. All right. Player lock. Mr. Soderstrom, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to player lock in the next game, too. We're going to probably player lock in every game the rest of the regular season as long as they don't clinch. Here we go. Rooker, three-run shot in the first. Yes. There we go. Inching closer to 100 RBI, 40 home run season. Oh, we just missed that. Just missed that. Just a touch underneath. Now it's six nothing. Butler two run single. Adamas one run single. All right. Come on, Tyler. He's going. He's safe. All right. RBI opportunity. Clutch kicks in now. Second and third, one out. <clears throat> oh, on the infield. God damn it. Now it's eight to three. Rooker had two home runs, and now he's got 100 ribs. There we go. There we go. Garcia is 16-5. and five. And Miller needs one more save to get the 40. Ninety-three wins with three games back with four to play. <laughs> oh my god. We are easily in the wild card. Twins have clinched the wild card. So uh it's either we're gonna win the division or we're gonna play the Yankees in the first round. All right, Ivaldi. This would get us to two games. Roof is open. All right, so nice glare and shadows. <clears throat> Ooh, we got some free agent boys. 
We got some free agents. Did you see that? Garrett Crochet is going to be a free agent. Tariq Skubal is going to be a free agent. Ah. There we go. Two run double by Soderstrom. Men at the corners, two outs. Having trouble seeing the ball. Get down. Oh, missed it by a foot. Bryce Harper has 43 bombs. Pete Crow with an RBI. Good, good, good. Keep, keep batting with two outs, though. Can't see the ball. Hey, no oh, Rooker with another home run. It's four to two. This is for a sweep, guys. <laughs> on the road alright in the ninth now I can actually see Maybe we can drive this ball. Oh, nope. Swing at the first pitch. Do not blow this lead. Come on, Miller. Do not blow this lead. We swept them at their place the last week of the season. We are two back with three to play. Rooker with the home run. <laughs> Sutterstrom has made his 10th air. Jesus. From the Rangers, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left Miller came in and struck out the side. He gave up a hit, but he struck out the side. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 50. Two games back, and they play the White Sox, and we play the Angels. White Sox have lost 100 games. Angels have lost 93. Rockies have lost 105. Marlins could lose 100. Dodgers with 104 wins. All right, Rooker needs five hits for 200. That's a hell of a year. 41 and 101. Rosario's got 70 ribs. Butler needs one more for 80. Adamas needs two more for 80. Mayo needs another homer for 20. Kelnick needs two for 20. Garcia's going to... I'm going to have three guys with over 200 innings. Look at that. 16 wins, 14, 11, 12, 12. Rasmussen's the only one in the ERA over four. And he's got 40 saves. 70 Ks and 49 innings. We are not in the uh, MVP race for some reason. DeGrom is leading the Cy Young and Otani and, and Yamamoto. Seager and Profar, 
Griffin Jackson Strom. Jaime Salas is going to win National League Rookie of the Year. He's a D potential, 72. So he came in the league as what he is, and he's going to regress out. Jackson Holiday is going to win it over there. All right. We have three games left. We're two games back. And they win 15 to 6. So we have to win out, and they got to lose their last two. See if we can get number 20 for Kobe. I will, uh, <clears throat> I said this at the start of the stream, so some of you might not have been here. Um, I am going to do the first round of the playoffs, provided we're the wild card team. We're a wild card team. We're going to play those best two out of three against the Yankees tomorrow, like at noon central. Um, <clears throat> and if we can win in two, then we will turn around and play the LDS right away. Um, if we win the division, then I'll just play the LDS tomorrow at the same time. But um, unless it's three grueling games and I'm just too mentally spent, then we'll try to go ahead and play the LDS as well. And I'll give you the thanks for watching and the stream starting in the middle so I can cut the video and have one be one episode and one be another episode for YouTube. Just missed it. All right. Up to nothing now. Hmm. There it is, number twenty. <laughs> Adios, Four forty two Kobe Mayo just golf that shit. Bam. All right, it's three to one. They're still in the game. Way out in front. Get the shit out of that ball. Oh, what a catch. He crushed that one. That sounded better than the home run, honestly. All right, six to one. Pitch. Nice ball. Whatever. Same difference. Two on, two out. We need a hit here. Nope. That's not going to be it. God damn it. Wasted opportunity. Let's hope that doesn't come back to bite us. Rosario, a two run homer. Eight to one.
Spence is 13 and 10. My goodness. These younger pitchers at the bottom of the rotation have just been killing it. All right. Can the White Sox help us out? They do. Crochet gets the win. Oh, baby. This would get us to one game back with one game to play. <laughs> Yeah, screw it. He's on fire. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Come on. Pitching. We need Freed to pitch better than he has this last month. No score. We remember Sandoval from our Rockies franchise. Throws a lot of sliders. Doesn't throw hard. Like 94, but not 99. Rucker's going to win Silver Slugger for D8. Or he could get it for left field because his position's left field. Even though he hasn't played a single inning in the field in a long time. At least not that we've when we play the games. All right, three and two. Jammed me, bastard. All right, Adele with a hit. Ruiz, a two-run double. Three-nothing lead. That was like a meatball sitting there. Come on. And he comes back with that. It's all going to come down to the White Sox. That's a rocket into the corner. Can you get in there? Safe. There we go. How many doubles is that now? 47. Come on, Shay. Let's go. Let's put this game out of reach right now. Ooh. All right, Nick. And he's out. Should have stayed at third. That's okay. And now it's four to two. Oh, what was that? Five to four, and they're going to walk me. Player lock and they walk me. All right, come on, Langoliers. Two on and two out. Oh, he boots it. Oh, he got him at the first base. All right. And we got the win. Mason Miller, 41 saves. All right, it comes down to this guy's last day of the season. Let's go look at our schedule and see what we did head-to-head. -head. Where's Baltimore? Where's Texas? We swept them at Texas twice. And then we split... So that's eight and two. And 
nine and four. Nine and four. So if we end up in a tie, we win the division. We don't have to play a playoff game because we're both in the playoffs. So we're going to play our game first and then we're going to sim their game and see what happens. Otherwise it's a letdown, right? Otherwise it's a letdown. Thomas. All right. Trout is back. He is back in their lineup. All right. Corbin, we need you to pitch well, buddy. Get your 15th win. No score. Second inning. Don't chase. Wait for a strike. I do like playing day games in this park. Get through. Oh man, Trout with a home run. Strider, 244Ks. All right, you're going to walk. Let's get it going. Come on, Tyler. Need a Gappa. I'll take the little flare. Two on. Nobody out. Tying run is now at the plate. <clears throat> Come on, Kobe. Come on, Kobe. Big fly. Let's go. He's only going to get one. No, he turned two. Holy shit. How did he do that? Wow. I thought there was no way he was going to get that turn and get him out. Well, Kelnick comes through, so it's 3-1. to one. It's all right. Get one back. Two-run game. Neto, two-run single. Rooker, one-run single. Now we're down three again, so we are the tying run. All right, we got to focus. That bounce? Wow. Lena right in front of his feet. All right. Should get me 80 RBIs. And this is the go ahead run. Come on, Soderstrom. Let's go. Find a gap. Bases are loaded. Come on, Mayo. At least get a fly ball. No double play. That's twice you've killed rallies, dude. What the fuck? The ball in the air. All right. Two runs single by Rooker gives us the lead. We have two on and one out here in the seventh. Time to expand this lead. Let's go. Oh, he did it! <laughs> I didn't think I got all of that one. That was a bomb. That was down and in, and he just turned on it. 468. Not as good as that one stream where we had two 500-foot home runs. Pulled his hands in and just hammers it. 
And we got the win. All right, so we're a half game back. Half game back. Trout did all he could do. Billy Adamas, 31 homers, 82 RBI. Rooker, three RBIs that have 106. Burns gave up five, didn't get the win, but Rasmussen, three and a third, no hit innings to get the win. All right. Here it is. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. They lost! They lost four to one! We won! We won! They lost! They lost! Holy shit! Holy shit! We won the division! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 4, 5, 6, 18 and 7 in September. We went 18 and 7. Wow. We won our last six games. We won nine of our last 12, or nine of our last 11. Nine of our last 11. Ten of twelve. Ten of thirteen, I'm sorry. Ten of thirteen. We had to win six in a row. We had to go to Texas and sweep. We did. And they only won the first game against the White Sox. Wow. DeGrom. It was actually Mally. It was two unearned runs. Josh Young error. Hagen Smith. Damn, Hagen Smith and Garrett Crochet shoved. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, we got to set our playoff roster. I'll do that off. League leaders, Luis Garcia led the major leagues in winning percentage. Brent Rooker led the major league with 200 hits. Seager hit 318. Rooker hit 304. Profar hit 322. 200 hits for Rooker, right on the nose. 53 doubles by Witt. Rooker had 47. Rosario had 43. Fourteen triples. Jacob Young. I'm shocked we didn't have more triples, but that's because we kept hitting home runs. Um 46 by Judge, 43 by Vladdy, who's a free agent. Rooker had 41. Adamas in the top 15. Butler in the top 20. Shohei, Acuna, Yelich, Nolan Gorman. There you go. Oswaldo Cabrera had a 100 rib season. Really? 28 home runs. Wow. Forty steals by Willie Castro. Snaked out the year. SD Ruiz. 42 by Terang. 99 walks for Yelich. Shohei and Woodruff had 19 wins. Lugo had 19. Garcia was 16. Only had five losses. 56 saves by Gratterall. 51 for Ursag. Afflin with the ERA. Two hundred and forty four strikeouts. Jeez. That was a 
was our best pitching war. 2.7. Batting war. He's not going to be up there because he didn't have any defensive stats. All right. Let's go look at the rest of the stats real quick. 200 hits. Rosario had 184. Butler, Adamas, Kobe, Pete Crow got his average up at the end. Esty, Kelnick, Langoliers, Sinzel, Soderstrom, 326 in 40 games. Should have had him up so sooner, shouldn't he? Adele, these guys did their job and drove in runs, hit some power. Oh, Garcia didn't get his 200 innings, but he came close. If he hadn't been hurt earlier, he would have. Mason Miller, 50 innings, 70 strikeouts, 41 saves. Look at Fiore. Holy shit. It's not going to show his season stats. He's had 83 contact against lefties. All right. Well, he's, he's going to start the year in AAA next year. <clears throat> Kurtz will be in AAA as well. All right. Well, <laughs> that was um, amazing. Amazing. I, I can't believe we won the division. I, I'm shocked. I can't believe they played that well in the sim. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, no, well, that means we don't have a double stream tomorrow. We just have one. And, uh, we will take on the winner of Baltimore and Minnesota. So Baltimore won their division, so they're playing the Twins. And the winner of that gets to play us, where the Rangers play the Yankees, and the winner takes on KC. National League, Phillies and Cardinals will play, and the winner gets to play the Dodgers. Braves and Giants play, winner gets Milwaukee. So, wow. All right, well, that's going to be it call it a day and we're going to go raid FG and his uh, Madden NFL thing they have going on over there. Let's get this raid going and uh, when we're ready we'll head on out and uh, I will see you guys over there. You guys take care. I'll be back tomorrow at noon central time for the uh, LDS. So you guys will well we'll sim when we get here so we'll know who it is. Well here, let me just do it right now. Hold on. Let's do it right now. Playing the twins. All right. They beat Baltimore two games to one. The Yankees beat Texas. Atlanta and Phillies move on. So we're playing Minnesota tomorrow. So noon tomorrow. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. I will catch you. Um, in about 16 hours. So you have a good rest of the evening. Mm -hmm.